Welcome back to the Oakland Athletics franchise here for an edition of the monthly recap. We have finished the month of May and we are heading into June now. So this is going to be the May recap and at the end of May, the Oakland Athletics are sitting at 30 and 19 on the season, which is first place in the American League West. The Los Angeles Angels are four games back at a first place. They're in second and the third place team are the Seattle Mariners who are six and a half game out. So the Athletics do have a commanding lead right now in the AL West as they are real starting to hit their groove there in the month of May, and hopefully they can extend it into the month of June. Moving on to some of the league leaders here on the American League, Jose Miguel Fernandez is having a spectacular season for the Oakland Athletics. He is hitting 342 with a 417 OBP, three home runs, and 27 RBI. That is second in the American League in average. He's absolutely raking this season. Uh, right now he's hitting bottom of the order in the left-hand lineup, but then the right versus right-handers he's hitting... Uh, lead off, but he's probably going to be moved up in the left-hand lineup because he's hitting but well against both. Uh, Chris Davis is hitting 306 with a 351 OBP, six home runs and 21 RBI. The home runs number, home run numbers aren't really there too much for uh, Chris Davis right now, which is pretty uncharacteristic for him. But he should be able to turn things around. He is though second in the American League in hits with 59, and he's only one hit behind Mike Trout for a tie in first because Mike Trout has 60. Uh, AJ Pollock, our new center fielder, is hitting 269 with a 337 OBP, 10 home runs, and 24 RBI. He is tied for fourth in the American League with doubles, in doubles with 13 on the year. Gerard Dyson's hitting 267 with a 324 OBP. He scored 19 times and swiped 15 bags. That is tied for first in the American League for stolen bases as he's tied with the New York Yankees. Jacoby Ellsbury and Abraham Toth from the uh, Orioles is also on that list somehow. Or somewhere, correction. Uh, moving on to the pitching side of things, Kevin Gaussman is 7-2 with a 2.89 ERA. He is first in the American League in wins with 7. He is 10th in the American League in ERA with a 2.89. And he is third in strikeouts with 77. J.R. Newman is 6-2 with a 3.36 ERA. That is tied for third with wins with a bunch of pitchers with six. Uh, Sonny Gray is six and a fourth, a 2.88 ERA. He's tied for third and wins as well, like I said, tied with a bunch of pitchers. Ninth in ERA with a <clears throat> with a 2.88 ERA and a first in strikeouts with 84 on the season. Another A's pitcher who's doing pretty well is Tony Watson. He was the Pirates setup man who we signed in the offseason to take the spot of Sean Doolittle as the closer. And now he has a .44 ERA, a 1.13 whip, and 18 saves on the season, which is tied for second place with 18 saves. He is tied with Roberto Ozuna of the Toronto Blue Jays. The A's have one injury, and it is the most expected injury in all of baseball. Ramon Benitez is injured, of course, because he can't stay healthy. Ramon Benitez has a fractured shin. He's out for three to four weeks. So Chris Iannetta has been called up from AAA to be the backup catcher in the big leagues. Moving on to the rotation, the bullpen, and the lineups versus both sides. The rotation, 1-5 to five right now, is 1-5. to five. Sonny Gray, Kevin Gaussman, Julio Tehran, J.R. Newman, and Rafael Montero. While the bullpen is Fernando Rodriguez, Adros Vizcaino, Liam Hendricks, and Fernando Abad are the middle relievers. The setup men are Tyler Clippard and Alex Torres, while the closer is Tony Watson. And the right-handed pitching lineup is shortstop Jose Miguel Fernandez, second baseman Jan Harris Solarte, Center field AJ Pollock, catching is Kyle Schwarber, DH Chris Davis, first base Matt Olson, third base Brady Slayton, right field Sean Andino, and left field Gerard Dyson. While the lineup versus left handed pitching is first baseman Jackie Allen, right fielder Jan Harris Solarte, center field AJ Pollock, DH Chris Davis, left field Monty Mason, catching Kyle Schwarber, third base Brady Slayton, second base Jose Miguel Fernandez, and shortstop Franklin Barreto. The left handed pitching lineup is probably going to change quite a bit throughout the month of June, as I have a few different options in mind. Moving Fernandez up, uh, possibly taking Jackie Allen out if he doesn't start picking it up even more so. Uh, Franklin Bredo is playing for his job. He could end up being either sent back down to AAA, or, be, or he's going to be a bench player because he's really just not that good. And with that being said, it's pretty much going to wrap things up here for this edition of the May recap of the Oakland Athletics franchise. So at the end of May, the Athletics are 30-19 and 19, heading into June, first place in AL West. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I'm saying goodbye.